can't use blocks for them for 12, 12 minutes. Hey miners, sorry I was so grumpy last show. Travis hasn't shown up yet, so I guess I'll just. No, no, like, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, what happened to you? Nothing. I just tripped on the way over here. Why? Do, do you realize you're bleeding everywhere? Uh, I think I would know if I was bleeding. No, it's right. Yeah, you got. <laughs> well, Travis is cleaning up. Here's announcements. Hey miners, it's Lacey again, and it's time for announcements. Spanish Club meets today in room 609. Interested in academic decathlon? There is a meeting at lunch on Friday in room 353. If you're interested in being an officer, stop by for an application. Juniors, information about senior picks will be presented in the gym Thursday, May 13th. Advanced placement rosters for the year 2010-2011 are posted on student service offices for English literature, biology, government, and Spanish. Don't forget to stop by the attendance office to buy your ticket for Timeless, El Diamante's One Axe, which will be this Friday. Dude, I, I think you missed a spot. Where? It's right, it's right. Oh! oh! I'm sorry, that wasn't called for. It's okay, it happens all the time. Now I feel bad. Anything for Ed Hughes. Thanks for looking at it that way. I should slap you more often. Sounds good. Okay, I take that back. This is starting to hurt me physically and emotionally. Speaking of emotions, here's the question of the day. How is that emotional? Hey, what's up? We're back with another random question of the day, and today's question is, what's one thing that you can't live without? Sydney Alex Fry. I'd have to say jazz, because i got to have my music. Alicia Ginsberg. Probably football, girls, and jazz. My iPhone. I can't live without you, Josh. Sydney Fry, probably, most likely. Spray tanning. Uh, there's many things I can't live without, but these two right here. Ah. <laughs> Food. I say Oh, he said he can't live without white paint. Probably Sydney Fry. <laughs> One thing that I couldn't live without is Mr. McGlasson, because he's the best English teacher ever. Music. A toothbrush. I could live without acorns. My mustache. Well, I have to say pockets. The one thing I can't live without, I have to say, is oxygen. All right, that was it for this time. We'll be back next week. See you guys later. It touched my heart for sure. It's good to know you care. Well, I don't, but I put on a good act. <laughs> what do you care about? Getting that cash flow. Word. Here's a story on the Diamond Drama Production. Hey guys, the drama department will be performing Timeless this Friday at the El Monte Theater. Here's more. Timeless, something that can last forever. In this play, many people experience life lessons that will always stay with us. Timeless is a collaboration of all the drama classes. Um, it's a series of scenes picked um, by Katie Wachowick and Aaron Bruning. It's from all of our classes are performing and it kind of just has the overlying theme of these scenes are timeless. Like the, these themes go out through time, and they're always they're always something that are relevant. Uh, timeless is a series of one act scenes that either are making fun of the way that Earth is going in life, or they're really um, kind of depressing and kind of make you think about what we're doing. I think students should come because it, it really is relevant. All of these issues are something that you can really think about and um, a lot of it's going to be really meaningful to everybody and also I think some English teachers are giving extra credit. Showtimes will be 3.45 and 7 o'clock p.m. on Friday night and ticket prices are $5 at Poland's room 703, the finance office or at the door. Alright guys make sure you buy your tickets.
See you there. Can't believe you never told me. Sorry. We need to talk. Whatever you have to say to me, you could say it to me right now. I hate you. It's not from when I spilled my applesauce on your Game Boy in fourth grade, right? <laughs> no. Wait. You spill applesauce on my Game Boy in fourth grade? Here's a story on the dig. I can't believe you spill applesauce on my Game Boy. Hey miners, to find out more about the next edition of The Dig, check this out. So The Dig is coming out on Wednesday and it will be online and it's because we're trying to save money for the senior edition. This is the last edition of this year before the senior edition comes out and we have articles featuring the dance show, softball, track, baseball, so you guys should really check it out. At this time we decided to make things more efficient and overall more easy to access, so that's why we decided to publish our edition on the new online. And so anyone who wants to know what's going on around campus or the world, you should check it out. Well that's it for me, I'll see you guys later. No, you started it. The you jar had, of applesauce you was had right the there. Applesauce no, you it wasn't, that wasn't on. me. I yeah, guys, 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 it's not five. He spilled applesauce on my Game Boy. Travis, you calm down. You have Pokemon for your Nintendo 64, too. Well, what do I do at family events? Just hang out and talk to your family, bro. Yeah, right. Why? It can't be that bad. Oh, yeah? Last year, they made me stand up in front of everyone and sing Over the Rainbow in front of a bunch of old folks without a shirt. They said I could spread the love. Here's Chris's sports. How's it going everyone? Congrats to Josh Lorenzen for taking home first in the WIL singles and the boys and girls swim team for capturing the WIL title as well as the girls track team for winning WIL all on Friday. Baseball took on Hanford West away as softball hosted at home and the boys golf team played in their area match yesterday. Check out the scores. Today, the minor track team will compete in the area meet at Grappetti Stadium, and tomorrow, baseball and softball will be at it again, as baseball will host Golden West at home at 4.15, and softball will play away in Blazer territory at 4.30. That's everything going on for now, so I'll catch all you guys next time. Hey, Corey, how's it going? Oh, good. Hey, Munchie. Uh, catching up on some reading. Uh, the great Sherlock Holmes, the crime solver. <laughs> That's not a mystery novel, Corey. Uh, well, you caught me. I'm just uh, reading up on some history, you know, some old stories. <laughs> I'm quite a scholar. <laughs> you, you know that's an Algebra One book, right? Well, maybe I might need some help. If you need help in English, see Miss Bitney. She is holding a English tutorial program after school that starts May 13th from 3.15 p.m. to 4.15 p.m. Thank you. So if we make Ed Hughes good enough, then will Mr. Waters pay us? Doubt it. You just need to accept the fact that we aren't making money. Well, we should get at least paid in Trident Layers. Yeah. Let's just stand up for what we believe in. Yeah. Let's just go out in the world and be successful. Yeah. Let's just help others and give away all of our stuff. Yeah. Let's just quit. Hey, miners. There's no show on Friday because of the spring sports rally. So I'll see you next week. I'm still expecting my Trident winners. Oh, yeah? Last Christmas? Oh, my God. I can't, that was I so can't read and look at. Let's do it again. You got us. Yeah. Okay. At the King's Country Club in their area match on Friday. <laughs>